Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to episode 29 of my Iron Man series. So the first thing I want to mention before starting this video is I'm glad to see how many of you enjoyed that first news and updates video I made. So I'm going to continue making that every single week. Now in terms of this week, Monkey Madness does come out on Thursday, or rather Monkey Madness 2. I know there's going to be a bunch of people like throwing out as much content, quest guides, everything as I can for that. Uh, I'm simply going to wait, I think, a few days to a week. My game plan basically is to make a quest guide on it. I know it's going to be pretty funny coming from somebody who doesn't do quests. But basically my game plan is to watch a bunch of streamers do the quest, watch some quest guides from people making it the first day, and try kind of get an idea of how the quest goes so I don't make mistakes on it. Uh, it is my goal to, you know, show you guys all the items you need before starting it and get through the quest without any mistakes. So if that's something you guys are inter interested in seeing, it's probably something I'm going to do. It's not 100% sure yet, depending on how the quest is, but it is something I plan on doing. So look out for the update video for the news and updates on Thursday. And let's go ahead and start this video. I'm going to start this video by continuing exactly where we left off. I uh, still have 5k D-Bones, and it is 11 p.m. previous day. So I'm probably going to go until maybe 10 o'clock tomorrow, so 23 hours from now. And that's when I will do the next update. Uh, I do you know, have school during the week, so I have no idea how many D-Bones I will be able to get during the week. I also have a few tests this week, so we'll see how it goes. But I'll see you guys tomorrow night with the first update. Up to 8,500 D-Bones now. I know I said I'd update you guys the next night. Um, it's actually been, I think, two and a half days now. I was going to do it every day, but I think that would get a little repetitive. So I'm probably going to do it every three to four days since it's going to take me like three weeks to do this anyway. Uh, and that would end up being, you know, a good amount of updates. Uh, what I actually may end up doing too is once I reach like 10 or 12K, something like that, D-Bones, uh, probably sometime on Friday, I'm actually going to go and maybe get a mining level. Um, I do want to try to, uh, you know, make this video longer because at this current state, if I continue doing this for 10 days, uh, you guys will be left with like a four minute video or something. And as you guys know, I do try to make them over nine minutes. So as this update, I have gained 2.3 mil range XP. Can't remember how long exactly I've been doing this. I think it's been a week now or close to a week, six days, something like that. So up to 8,500 D-Bones, uh, getting a lot of gnats from this as well, uh, picking up all the Marantils I get as drops and the insult heads are adding up as well. So I'll see you guys in maybe another three days. I think I'll do an update actually once I hit 12k maybe? 12 or 13k, so I'll see you guys once I hit 12 or 13k D-Bones. I know I said I'd continue recording once I hit around 13k. Um, I'm at 10.6, but basically what I'm going to be doing now is taking a break and actually using these. I was going to go all the way and do it all at the end, but I kind of want to do some mining and other things right now. I don't want to just do you know green dragons all the way. One thing, it won't really be worth it for you guys for content because it'll just be me showing the bank all the time. And another thing is I just am bored of it right now. So I need to do something else. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is going and using all these insult heads. I believe this is going to be like 400 something KXP. It should get me from 86 to 87 prayer. Uh, at the moment, I am also farming the marantils I need. I need around 260 uh, to finish out these bones. Basically, what I'm going to be doing right now is going from 86 to 92 prayer. Should be able to do that today. I just need to do two Marantil runs. So I'm going to go ahead and use these insult head, heads right now. And I'll see you guys over there if you're uh, you know, kind of confused on these. Some people may not know how to actually use these because they're kind of new. So I'll see you guys at the altar. All right, so here we are on Zaya. This is basically what you do. You get all the insult heads, the runes you need. And down here you'll see it's reanimate. It's four souls, four gnats, and two bloods. So it's a lot of runes, but thankfully I got these from dragons and rune crafting. So... All these runes aren't that big of a deal. Um, I believe it's like 1560 per on these. I've actually never done this before, so we'll see how this works out. So I freaking forgot that the Dragon Battle Axe lowers everything, so I'm sitting here waiting for 93. Okay, there, so it went back up. Basically, next time I just have to remember to bring a restore since I'm using this. So I think it's as simple as just clicking on this and using it on the head. Yeah, okay, so it'll respawn it, and then you basically kill it, and you will get the XP from it. This should be a pretty quick kill. Let's see if I can... Remember how to flick. I haven't done this for a long time. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, yeah, that was pretty quick. And you guys will see 1560 XP, so I'll get 9, not 90, what am I talking about? I'll get 87 prayer from all of the heads I have. So I'm going to continue doing this, and I'll see you guys once I hit 87 prayer. So I should be 87 prayer on this next dragon. I think I have like 20 left in the bank or something like that. I'm actually just going to keep those there. Um, I have enough bones to get to 92, so I'm going to finish out this inventory now, and I'll see you guys back at the bank. Uh, there is also something I want to show you guys, so I'll explain that a little bit more when I get back to the bank. 
So as you guys saw, I just got to 87 prayer. I also just did another farm run to get some more Marantils. I think one more should get me enough to where I can get to 92 prayer. So the other thing I was talking to you guys about that I wanted to show you was, um, where is it? Uh, collecting these coconuts and poison ivy berries. Basically, if you make coconut milk, which is somewhere in one of these tabs, there it is. So you basically make coconut milk with these coconuts. Uh, you add the poison ivy berries and ro I think it's called Rogue's Nightshade. I can't remember. Basically, it's a nightshade. You collect it from a quest. Um, you have to you know collect it in Hop Worlds. Uh, I'll be doing that later, but the two ingredients you need for it here are coconuts and poison ivy berries. Basically, the coconuts, I'm just going to be picking for every three hours from all my coconut trees. And I have uh, basically, you know, done 12 hours. So 12-hour days, I'd be able to collect 120 coconuts a day. And in a 12-hour day, I'd be able to collect 144 berries. So over the time span of two months, which is probably going to take like two and a half months for me to max. So that would get me around 7,200 of those in terms of supplies. And once I make the Weapon Poison Plus Pluses, which are actually 190 XP, that would give me... Actually, let me do these calculations really quick. 7,200 times 190, so that would get me like an extra 1.4 mil free XP for um, herbs, so uh, that's just, you know, daily collecting too, so that's going to add up a lot over time. I'm actually going to go and collect some of the berries now, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, I'm going to be collecting those, I'll probably do some updates in videos, I just teleported to the wrong spot. <laughs> so um, I'm going to be doing updates on that, maybe every video, showing you guys how much coconuts and poison ivy berries I have. Um, like I said, those will definitely add up. So I'm gonna collect those now and then go back to the bank And I think I'm gonna start doing some prayer now with the marantil and the bones I have so I'll see you guys once I hit 88 prayer All right, so almost 88 prayer basically what I'm doing is just letting one of these use manually and then automatically using one I did try doing it one by one at first, but I kept misclicking and burying the bones So I decided to stop doing that. I think I should be able to get this on the next one right here should be on the next one. Well, I guess one more. So there is 88 prayer, maybe 125 combat. Ah, oh, damn, still 124. So I'm going to continue doing this. It's going pretty fast. Should be another hour, a little bit over an hour until 89. So I'll see you guys once I hit 89. So I got 89 prayer. I uh, still didn't get 125 combat, sadly. Um, I will end up getting that in the next clip with the next level. And also... Very close to 90 plus all stats, you guys will see in the next clip when I hit that. It's a pretty big achievement, so I want to tell you guys a little bit about that once I get it. So I'll see you guys once I hit 90 prayer. So here it comes, guys. Finally, 90 plus all stats with 90 prayer. Also got to 125 combat. I believe I can get to 126 combat at around 97 prayer. I don't think you need 99 to get 126 combat, so that'll be pretty nice. Um, but yeah, 90 plus all stats has been something I've been working towards for a pretty long time. You guys probably heard me mention that a lot in past videos, like even months ago. So to have that now is really cool. Um, now I guess the only accomplishment I'm working towards is maxing, guys. Um, we'll see you guys once I hit 91. I'm starting to run into Marantils. Hopefully I'll have enough. I have like four seeds left or something. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully I can get that because it'll be kind of a pain in the ass if I have to go get more Marantils just to get to 92 prayer. So see you guys once I hit 91. And there is 91 prayer. I'm going to keep this pretty brief. I just wanted to mention, um, yeah, I'm struggling with the Marantils. It seems there's a bunch of people in this world doing, uh, you know, instances as well. And, you know, every time somebody goes into an instant, it basically um, removes your lit uh, burners. So it's kind of a pain in the ass, but, you know, I'll work past it and try to get to 92. So hopefully I can get to 92 without running out of Marantils, and I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, so here comes 92 prayer. After this, I'm going to head back to the bank, show you guys how much T-Bones and stuff I have left, because I don't have many. I uh, basically used everything I had to get to 92, but there is 92. Let's go back to... I'm just going to waste these Marantils, but rip, for the sake of showing you guys what I have in recording. So, there's 92. Um, don't Like I said, I don't have really any mini D-Bones left. Um, heads are all gone. Still have all my green dragon hides. I was actually going to go and use these now, because uh, I need to get to 93 crafting for Monkey Madness 2 anyway. But I'll probably end up doing that off battle staff sometime this week. Um, I'm probably just going to go back to green drags now. Uh, also, I have still been collecting the coconuts and poison ivy berries. I think it's only been a day since I started collecting these. I already have 172 of the berries, so just finished growing my palm trees. So these are adding up too. But I'm probably going to go back and start doing some more green drags now. Um, I may upload this video on Tuesday, so I'll probably do one more update tomorrow. So... Hopefully by then I can have around 3k D-Bones. I think I'll set that as my goal. 
But after that update, I will end the video. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last update before I upload this video. This may not be the update you guys were expecting to see. Uh, I actually did 200 more dragon kills and I decided to go and do crafting. As you guys know, I do need to get from 92 to 93 for Monkey Madness, which comes out on Thursday. I don't know why I said Friday. It comes out on Thursday and it is currently Monday. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I do have all the battle staffs to get from 92 to 93. So basically, I've been making the Cosmic Runes right now. So I have 4k staff, so obviously I need to make 12k Cosmic Runes. Uh, almost done with that, and then I'm going to start charging the orbs. I do have all of them unpowered over here, as you see, so I don't need to make any of those, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to be doing that now. I'm probably going to end the episode here. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video on Thursday. I'll probably end up doing the update video then. Um, for Monkey Madness, I'll probably make a video on that the next week. I kind of want to make a quest guide on it, as I mentioned to you guys at the start. So I'll probably end up doing that a little later. Um, I don't know. It'll kind of depend on how it goes. So thank you guys for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next news and updates video on Thursday.